Good morning, my name is Sandy Steele and I'm here to share with you a devotion. Uh, that's one of our uh, devotions for the next 40 days of Lent. I'm going to talk on uh, what does it take to be a disciple of Jesus. And I'm gonna start out by reading from Mark chapter one, verse 16 uh, through 20. And this is the English Standard Version. <clears throat> Passing along the Sea of Galilee, Jesus saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in their boat mending the nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants and followed him. Now in this scripture, Simon and Andrew and uh, then James and John just uh, up and left behind basically their lives to follow Jesus. I don't know if that necessarily means being a disciple of Jesus uh, means that we are required to leave behind our entire lives and that may be the case for some, but for most of us, I think it may mean just leaving behind whatever is getting in our way, uh, or more appropriately, what's getting in God's way. It may be things, habits, uh, sometimes even people that are holding us back from putting Jesus first and hindering us from freely following Him, growing a close relationship with Him, and ultimately bringing others to Him. I'd like to share uh, a poem it's entitled Discipleship. This is a Christian poem about following Jesus, and it's written by Justin Farley. Don't let your bondage hold you back. Don't let your misfortunes, your dark secrets, or your mischievous ways blind your eyes to the light. Don't let arrogance, pride, fear, or greed mute your ears to the command of his call, follow me. That's not follow me when, follow me if, or follow me but. It's follow me without restriction or based upon circumstance. It doesn't leave time to pack a suitcase. It doesn't leave time to say goodbyes. It doesn't promise ease or relaxation. It isn't a decision to think about and ponder that sits disconnected from time. It is a command in the present, a call to action, right here, right now. Throw down your nets far behind you so that you don't get caught in their snare on the way forward. Leave it all behind you to gain it all in front of you. So when Jesus calls you to follow him, uh, let's just don't let stuff get in your way. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, I thank you for uh, this time to uh, be able to share your word on discipleship. Discipleship isn't easy, but then you didn't say it would be. We know that uh, we need only to turn to you for the strength and courage, encouragement and courage and um, uh, to, that it takes to be a disciple of yours, to follow you, to grow close to you, and to help others, be it simply by our actions or words, or sometimes both, to also know and to receive you. So we just place ourselves in your hands and ask that you help us to put aside those things, whatever they may be, whomever they may be, that... Uh, could be holding us back. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.